don't have anything. You're visible. I'm visible. I'm yep. not and invisible. We are. Sorry? I'm not invisible? Nope, nope, you're visible. <laughs> we are Mad Frankie and Violet Igor. And we are the mad scientists. And we're going to be showing how sometimes your experiments can fail and sometimes they work brilliantly. So um, these are the these are the circles that I <laughs> sewed onto um, water dispersible fabric, you know, the, the interfacing stuff. And then stupidly, once they were done, I then went and sprayed them with a nice spray and they all went, ooh. <laughs> Look at them. They all went, ooh, 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 we're not going to play. <laughs> I should have thought of that before I even started. So I only did a little bit on this one, but ah, yeah. This one is not on the uh, dispersible, water dispersible um, interfacing, but it's um, on some fabric which is similar in look, not quite the same. You can see that um, there's a, a more substantiality to the Disper water dispersible one whereas this is more like a sort of i don't know what it is it, i've got a whole roll of it and i've got no idea what it is but i did the same thing with this as i did with these i just sewed some wool in this case in a spiral in those cases in vague circles and um it worked brilliantly it, it really did work really rather well that will go on nicely i reckon well let me ask you, you you say water dispersible what do you mean yeah. by water dispersible? Do you mean like you put it in the water one? and it disappears? And it disappears. It dissolves, yeah. So we call that water soluble. Yeah, same thing. That's what I meant, yeah. So um, I, I should have realized that, um, well, I do really realize that uh, the um, sprays are water. So <laughs> of course it's going to go... But there you go. It just shows that you can do it. You can make it with um with a bit of wool just doing a zigzag thread over a zigzag stitch over the thread. It it takes a bit of while sort of getting it into shape, but it's easier, I found, to draw a circle in pencil on the fabric and then just get the that's easier to see where you're going then. Right. See whether you're going a bit offline or not, you see. So that's what I did with those. Those are done. This is going to be some a, quite a good one. But I do wish I knew what that fabric stuff was. I have no idea. Let's take a, anyway. a second here. Let's say hello, Estelle Planet Creative Studios. Hello, Marilyn. And guess who's here? You'll never guess. Oh, I'm Patricia. Here. Hello. <laughs> Patricia, I'm going to mix some paints. <laughs> and I then I'm going to use them. So I'm going to do some reds because uh, I've only got the one red, which is red one. But before I do that, I would like Violet to show you what she's been doing. Oh. So I'm going to make Violet big for a moment. Yeah, I don't, I don't usually get on camera, so but I wanted to show off. I'm very pleased with something I created last night while playing with Fran. So this is just the brayer off paper from something and Fran bless her heart gifted me a couple of images that uh she created and I laid them out in a design so we have trilobites that she designed and I laid them out in a design multiples and then i think that's gorgeous one. what i think it's gorgeous i do too and and then she sent me one of tur of a turtle that i resized multiple times and put in a layout and then i printed them with a laser printer as we learned with patricia and mariah in pm artist studio and then I did pulls with them. And this is the one that came up with the trilobites. I used a, uh, I forget what color blue it was. It was, it was not Prussian. It was ultramarine, wasn't it? Ultramarine. Ultramarine blue. 
It was Amsterdam <laughs> paints, ultramarine blue, that I used to make the trilobites to do the pole. And then over top, I used a, <laughs> I don't remember the color. It was Naples, was it Naples red? Naples yellow red, I think. Naples Not sure. Red. Yellow ochre, you know, I don't recall. <laughs> but either I way. I think it was Naples yellow red. Right. Because it was a pinky, was a pinky. pinky color. Hmm. So this is with a laser print pole. And then I did the turtle, the turtle pole. And again, yes, Patricia, they are meant to be fossils because they're the skeleton of a trilobite. Well, taken from a, a fossil I had in a rock. It is pink. Sorry, that's, go on. That's, it, it came out. It came out pinkish. It's in true color. It's orangish, more orangish than red or pink. So you're probably seeing a pink tinge. I think um, Fran last night said it had a, a peachy or yeah. ap apricot, peachy, something like that you said. Yeah, peachy color. Hello, it, Kim. Hi, Kim. Welcome. But it still showed the pull really well. And I, obviously, I didn't Dude. clean the plate well prior to do the pull, but it was it was just a test to see if the laser print would work and i'm just and it certainly did yes and, and the um important point is to turn it to 100 percent black in photoshop before right. you print i yes and i went into i created all of this in photoshop well the turtle and the trilobite is fran's design but i put it into photoshop made the multiples resized them placed them where i wanted them and then I went up to image and adjustment and black and white and said maximum blackness. And that's mm -hmm. all I did. And then I um, printed them out on my laser printer and used them to do the impression on the plate. I'm very, very pleased with it. And I love this design. I do. I think you've arranged those beautifully. I like yeah. that you've got sort of little baby ones. <laughs> yeah. Well, I lived in South Lovely. Carolina briefly. And if you live down there, you, you realize you're on the beach and they have turtle paths where they will block it off because once the turtle eggs hatch, the turtles make a run for the ocean. Oh, uh -huh. right. And so you see all these little bitty tiny baby turtles just scrambling through the sand to get to the ocean and they they the uh, the conservationists will block it off so that they'll survive. You can't get near them. And when I saw Lovely. this turtle print, that's exactly what I was seeing in my mind was those baby tur turtles scrambling. Yeah. And what did I tell you last um, they actually look like that. They, they, that looks like sand that they're scrambling on sand there. Close. This yeah, one, that print This uh -huh. is the dad. Lovely. This is the aunt. <laughs> and these are all the babies and the cousins. Uh-huh. That's my story. <laughs> Love it. And somewhere in there, I managed to use some tape to get a nice uh, grunge pull. Lovely. So that's lovely, that. Lovely, that, that was my play with Fran last night. All done. Right. Go back to the bulls. Back so you see you. me again. Do, 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 do. And um, I'll put it just on me and raise up my camera. Hope that's a good position. Right. Now, what I've got here, I've got um, I've got a tub of reds over on my uh, right hand side here, Thank but you. I've pulled out the alizarin crimson because if you remember, this one was the one that had blips in it. It made a really nice pull um, for that one time, but uh, I'd like to see if I can do anything about that, you know, whether I can sort of grind it down a bit. So I'm going to get some red, and I thought I might add a bit of yellow to it as well, maybe some Indian yellow, make it a bit more punchy. And I want to put a fair bit in because I want to get it uh, quite a bit in the pot. I've got my pots ready. 
Right, so that's that. Let's move these out of the way and these back. And look, look, Patricia, I've got I've got the paste type acrylic retarder. <laughs> so I'm going to use that for the first time. So just a bit like that. Ann Lover is here and says hello, Fran and all. She's watching. Hi, packing. Hi, Ann. So glad you're here. And I'm going to use soft matte gel. This is the golden one. Doesn't really matter. I could use the Liquitex one, which is there. Patricia but uh, the soft matte gel makes the softer paint. Sorry? I think on the retarder just a bit, she said. Yeah, I only put a little bit. This is the... Um, as you can see, it's lumpy, but I might be able to salvage it by mixing it in with something softer like this. That might be enough. Let's put the lid on for now and get a bit of yellow. I want a little bit of Indian yellow. So I'll probably end up making an orange, not a red. <laughs> there we go. But I need some more range of colours because I've only got the one red and it's a little bit a little bit on the pinky side for me, that one. That was that's what I was saying about my trilobite pole is it it I like it. I'm very pleased with it and I appreciate that you sent me the stencils, but I really wanna put a, a uh, red back there behind it. I wanna do a pole with black instead of blue and then a yeah. a, a darker red, a grungy red. With maybe a but if I add some brown to this, this will become a grungy red. Oh, okay. Could so what do. two colors did you use again? I used Indian yellow, the Arteza. Uh-huh. That one. And I used uh, Alizarin crimson, uh, quite an old Windsor & Newton one because it was bitty, and I wanted to see if I could salvage it, uh -huh. so, you know, grind in the bits. It could take a while doing that. Because you can see them, you can see them. If you go like that, you can see all the bits. Look at all the little blobs. He said, "Add more them? red." Mo is here. Hi, Mo. Hi, Mo. Great to see you. Yeah. She says, yeah. "Can't see yeah. all, but want to see this paint mix, Fran." Yep. Well, I do it like this on the um, on the glass sheet, like this, because I have done it in one of these. And what I end up with looks like that. You can see where there are bits that are not mixed in. See what I mean? The white bits around the edge. And I, I prefer to have it as mixed in as I possibly can. And Patricia says those blobs may add interest. So oh, well, could... they did before, but they'll be slightly smaller this time if I still yeah. get some. Last Maybe time there were some really big blobs. I'm not sure. It's looking quite good. I was going to add some of that nice brown. Yeah, it looks uh, very... I've got violet oxide. Uh, Naphthol red medium, no. Quinacridone burnt orange, not really. Uh, where's my burnt... Where's the brown? I had a brown. Yeah, I used it the other day and I put it back over there. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, no, that's copper. Oh, look, here it is. Transparent brown iron oxide. That's what I want. A bit of that. Just a drop. There you are. You see, I'm using P's measurements. Dollop. It's well, more, I almost to, a P. I, I have to say that um, all, all the gel printing I've done for the last few years, I've used uh, craft paints from... Um, Wally World or like Apple Barrel or um, or Plaid or or you know those brands, the craft paints. Mm -hmm. And yep. I never gave it much thought. I mean, I've done a lot of pulls and whatever. But sometime back, a very sweet friend gifted me a uh, small package, a set of twenty-four package of Amsterdam paints. And I've been using them, and it's like I never want to go back to craft paints again. Uh huh. No, no, no. There's, it's the difference between, I don't know, steak and hamburger. Choke and cheese. Right 
I really love the Amsterdam. I don't even want to think about owning something called Golden or even Liquitex. It's probably like, <laughs> you know, I have to win the lottery. Yeah, well, I was going to say, if I win the lottery, I'll get you some. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> Do you buy we'll stuff or get me some? <laughs> <laughs> right, I think that's pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. That's nice. I'm just going to bring it all together. That's very, very similar to what I want to put behind these trilobites. Mm -hmm. As if it's sort of um, river rock that they've emerged from. Well, you're getting the idea. There's a little bit of That's... a streak of brown in that. I just want to incorporate that. The, the problem is, is I spend too much time in virtual reality floating around with the sea creatures and I get these ideas. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? you got to get your ideas somewhere. It, Nothing wrong with that. And then I want to I want to come up for air and create it. Pieces Actually, I think I've Look at that, a smooth. Look at that. I think I've managed to get rid of all those lumps just about. P says, test yeah. your transparency. So do you have a way to test it? Yes, I, I have some sheets ready. I'm worry. going to do that once I put it in. I don't know what you mean. Yeah, test your transparency before you start transferring it. You might want more. Too late. That's the thought. Too late. <laughs> Let's have a go. Mo says she's loving all your golden plate collection. Yeah, I I do too. I get to watch her play with it. Oh, that's nice. It's it's not bad. I don't know how transparent that is. Do you think I should add a bit more? It's too late now. I'll do it next time. <laughs> Before you put it in the pot. Yes, dear. <laughs> too late. I should have made more. Can you remember what I did? <laughs> we have it recorded. <laughs> it's recorded. <laughs> Go back and make notes. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm not writing things down. I'm too busy watching you. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? To me too. Well, and and, and like P said, um, you can also do it as you print, as you yeah, as you need it. Yeah. So that'll be red too. That one. So I better get uh, something to wipe that up with. We'll and come back water. later and do a specifics. We'll watch the video and do the, do a specific. Blah, 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 blah. Specific. Well, it was a lot of alizarin crimson. It was uh, a decentish blob, maybe about three peas worth of uh, the Indian yellow. Uh -huh. It was one pea of retarda, and it was about one pea of the um, brown iron oxide. Oh, friend. Transparent I brown iron. Friend, I got to tell you, yep. I would have gotten a, you know how you have a brayer rub off sheet? Up, off to the side when you gel plate yeah. I would have had a sheet handy to pick up all that paint you just wiped up well, it's all right I've got a nice sheet here that it's making nice patterns on it's okay, okay. all right I have a <laughs> message from Ann Lover she says love your trilobite tensile do you sell it I am thinking of doing so I'm thinking of setting up a Facebook page to do that And and the uh, um, turtles. And the turtles. Um, maybe others as well. I don't know. But, yeah, I, I don't really want to do it as a business as such, but I, I would be happy to sell things. Sorry, Anne. Stencil. Done. Stencils. Um, thin things that don't cost so much to send because, you know, you've got to calculate cost of things. Right. And you're in the UK. Um, exactly. The trilobite. A stencil is quite thin. So if you get a stencil in a thin thing that's not very big, then that would work. So I'd have to calculate the size and all that kind of thing. So that's enough paint mixing for now. Really? Yeah. Well, do you want me to do any more? 
Yeah. You want me to do more? Yeah. I can do more. I can do, do a different a, red. Do a different red, and you you need to do uh some yellows. Um. Yeah, I, I haven't got more many yellows mixed. I don't know if you saw earlier, Anne, if you were here when I showed the uh, the trilobite pull that I did. That wasn't done with a stencil. That was done um, with Fran's trilobites, and I created a, a laser print with them, and I did a pull using that. There's Mariah. Hi, Mariah. Let's have the lizard in crimson again. This time we won't add brown. That gives it have a fair color. This is quite stiff to pull this to push out the tube. So it's because it's an old tube. But it's a way to salvage the paint so that you don't waste it. I didn't, I didn't do a pull. And, well, I did the pull last night, Anne. So today I just showed the results. But you can go back and look. Or um, Fran can... I can switch you over in a minute. Yeah. In fact, I, I can switch over now while I'm doing sorting this. Okay. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I used. Um, well, I don't know what I did there, but um, you yes. put me up live. Is that what you meant? No, what I did was I left the studio. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> there we oh, are. You're full screen now. You can talk about that again while I um. Okay. Well, the, these, these are the trilobites and the um. I can think of it. Turtle, turtle. Uh, designs that Fran created that I brought into Photoshop and manipulated size and placement and duplicate it. And then I printed them out as a laser print on my laser printer. And then I did gel plate poles with them, which I'm very, very happy with how they turned out. I mean, Fran did an excellent job drawing them out. So we have the trilobites and the turtles. I don't know how well you can see those, but. I see them pretty good, I think. Yeah. So these blue ones are the initial pull. So this is the, the print. This is the laser print. With the remains of the ultramarine blue that you used to um, set the. Uh, laser print impression on the gel plate, yeah? Yes, thank you. It's complex sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Make my mouth work. <laughs> they they are, help me with your brain working. And, and the thing is, is I don't, you can't tell from here, but this, the turtles, is done on thin copy paper. Um, and then I went and got some hammer mill, like, P and M use like P uses when she does your pull. So I, I this one is done on hammer mill. You can't tell the difference from looking at them, but you can tell the difference from feel and stability. To me, the structure of the hammer mill will hold up better on a card if that's what you wanted to make. Which is where my mind is going of changing the size of these turtles so that I can cut out a piece to put on a card front and the same with the trilobites i may make these even smaller in an area like a five by seven or smaller four by six would be good to make a postcard size i love this design both these designs they're just beautiful and yeah i i would love yeah i love the hammer mill papers i would love to actually i believe fran has already done it these are designs but i think she's turned these both into stencils too yep i have and i want those too which i now have <laughs> that's it it pays to know somebody <laughs> 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 so there you go i'm done showing off you can you can put it back to you now. Go back to mixing paint you sure 
Yes, I am. I just wanted to show oh. Mariah because she missed the intro. So. Okay, there you go. Right, this is me mixing paint. Let's turn that up a bit. There we go. Now I've put down quite a large amount of, because I want a good pot full. In fact, I might need a different pot. Might need a bigger pot. Oh, I think I've got pots. Two things. One, that color is wow. Mm -hmm. And good. Also, Patricia commented. She said, um, for for my for my polls, and I'm presuming for your designs. These are lovely. I have some ideas for waviness transparencies over the blue turtles. Watch tomorrow. Uh, oh, you, you betcha. Oh, interesting. I'm now, I'm, yes. So I used a bit of the, um, whatever I put it. There we go. The Elizarin Crimson. Elizra Newton, professional. And I used about that much a long squeeze out the tube. The rest is golden soft matte gel. And I've got a blob of retarder in there. Boy, that's, that's some... all. Um, I'm just beating up the alizarin crimson. I will change the color a little with something else afterwards. Once I've got this mashed up a bit. That's like fluorescent pink. It is a bit, isn't it? That's because the um, soft matte gel is in there with it. But all that will do is give it some transparency because it will dry clear. Uh, Mo wants to know, Fran, did you get impasto in the end? I did, yes. Okay. Because cool. I'd already ordered it when, when you went and reminded me and told me that you hadn't used – it wasn't any good. So I've, it's a big jar as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I shall have to try it out, but oh, I don't know. You said it cracked. That sounded as though it was sort of drying a bit too fierce. I wondered if adding some retarder to it might help. And therefore, using it in a paint mix like this might work. I might have a go with that. See what happens. So I'm sort of crushing this as I, as I bring it back. I'm crushing it like you would if you were crushing garlic with salt. And instead of using a knife, I'm using a palette knife. Pieces, yes, do it. Oh, okay, I will do it the next stuff to this. Yeah. Yeah. And she says the color of that coral, which I agree, coral. It is toning down I'm a little bit. Alizarin crimson. It's just a lizard crimson with the matte gel. That's all it is. That's something. It does look quite pinky with all that amount of gel in there. And you made much more of this than you did the first batch. Yeah, because I realized I hadn't added very much. So I've got a slightly bigger jar just to be on the safe side. Piece of add a splot of yellow. I want to know what a splot is. Hashtag splot. Is that one P or two P, P? <laughs> <laughs> I can't resist that one. <laughs> and Mo said, um, going back to your uh, talking about the impasto, I believe, she says, love to hear how you find it, Fran. Yes, yes. Well, basically, it's over there. <laughs> That's another joke. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, and we can give a heads up. We are, we are live today, which kind of was a last minute decision. Um, we have two videos that will be posted um, after this. One should, well, one should be live already, and the other one should be live in about three minutes. Not live. Because I shared it. Well, uh, public. Listed. Public, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, they'll be public. They'll be uh, posted public in a few minutes within the, within the hour, I'm sure, that yeah. – uh, that we played one night late, <laughs> really late at night. Fran was up real till all hours in the morning and really tired. But we played and we recorded it. And I did a lot of editing, but it's still ridiculously silly. Although, <laughs> That's one for the fun. good, isn't it? Yeah, we had fun. 
So, a little bit of yellow. Now, should I put Indian yellow in, do you think? Because that worked quite well with the last one. Well, P just said a splot of yellow, so you... What's a splot? Come on, how many peas? It, it was a dis, serious question. It's this many. This many. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to add what I think of as a splot. More than that, but not as much as the other. Okay, a splot. If you hear splot, you've reached your point. I think that's enough, isn't it? Just want to wipe the top of this. It's looking a bit um, disgusting. Better less than too much. Mm -hmm. P says she finds mixing, fixing paint very satisfying. It's quite therapeutic, isn't it? It's it, sort of in the zone, you know, you're concentrated yeah. like. Ooh. See, that's yeah. where I go in the kitchen and I mix cookie dough. Don't want to eat it, but I like to mix it. You're weird. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Mission accomplished. Well, you're a good, good fit in this club. <laughs> <laughs> you got to set goals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. That really altered it, didn't it? Little bits there. Yeah, that that uh, sort of reddened it oddly. The yellow reddened it. Yep, it made yeah. it made it more punchy. Yes, of a pink, less of a pinky color. Yeah. And of course, you don't know what's going to happen when you actually use it because, of course, when it dries, you won't see the <laughs> um, matte medium because it dries clear. So all you'll see is the actual color. And how much transparency that will give will be interesting, I think. Sorry, what did you say? Peace is exactly right amount. Mariah, I have to tell you, no, you're not getting any cookie dough. We, we don't need it. Um, I, I watched the chocolate that P got, and I'm like, when you send me chocolate, I'll send you cookie dough. How's that? <laughs> Fair exchange is no robbery. There you go. <laughs> we negotiate. I have to tell you, though, Mariah, I was in uh, the store today, and I saw some pink soft yarn. I think it's like Chanel. And I picked it up, and I went, I could not make Izzy a cat hat with this. Ooh. And I'm like, well, does she like pink? And because you you like the hat that I crocheted. Well, that hat was not a pattern. That was just something I sat down and I saw a picture and went, oh, I can make that. And I, it uses different yarn textures, kind of like the hat you wear. It's just random yarns and textures put together in the pink. I am going to add a little bit of violet oxide just to show you what it does so it's quite dark and it's a bit on the brownie side but i'm only adding that little bit it's about a pea's worth well i'm i'm thinking okay i'm thinking you might have to add all these things at the beginning because uh i'm i'm taking all this time and i'm worried about it drying but then i ha it has been raining today so the humidity is going to be good so as long as I keep on violet oxide, I'm I'm curious to see how you I might need to add a little touch more yellow. There you go. Okay. Um the only thing is I was thinking, I mean, y'all live in Texas. Do you I mean it's we're not in the time of year. It's hot there, isn't it? Why would you want a crochet hat? But then again, Hey, you're a kid. You don't pay attention to that stuff, do you? You just want the hat. Yeah, certainly. We should talk, Mariah. Because if I made it for her, I'm not sure that she would need the long scarfy part to wrap around her neck. She would just want the hat. And the hat just needs to be not tight like a knit cap, but just to go over her head loosely. Uh, we need to talk. What would be a good design for that? Do you mean you and Mariah need to talk or you and Dizzy need to talk? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could sit and talk with Izzy. I'm good with, I used to be good with kids. I haven't been around any for quite a while, but I've always loved kids. But I would probably get more definite, uh, more decision making done with Mariah than with Izzy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> You've turned that, that is really pretty. You've turned that into something I like really like it now i'm glad it's recorded what did yeah. i do <laughs> yeah oh pieces but... made a paste <laughs> and mariah says don't get izzy involved <laughs> <laughs> yeah because it'll end up a hat for every day of the week all different colors <laughs> don't mention that yeah <laughs> It is tomato paste, isn't it? It. Well, from here, I don't know what you're seeing, but from here, okay, we're in, we are now well, going to have. Let me just blind you for a second. There we go. I can see what I've got now. I like that. That's a good color. That. I'm going to put that in its pot. Okay. And then I'll do one with the impasto. I'm waving like you can see me, Mariah. <laughs> and Kim says more like ketchup. It is know. a bit. That or um, um, blood. I'm mixing blood for, oh, I don't know, Maggie's. <laughs> Who's a weirdo? And P says, do a test. Yeah, I'd like to see a swatch, too. I really would. Well, I'll do it next to the other one. She's yelling at you, do a test. <laughs> too late. So there's the other one. Oh, it is darker. It's it's orangier, isn't it, as well? Well, the card's off mm -hmm. camera, but just what little bit you picked up, I could see. There you go. See? That one's got a tinge of brown. It's not a lot, just a tinge. That's got a, um, the violet oxide, so it's slightly bluier, very, very slightly. I like that. Yeah. Happy with that. Interesting. Murdery. <laughs> it is very murdery, yes. Yeah. It seems to be the theme for the for the month of right. April. Murdery. What is it? Because, <laughs> because it's tax time, everybody's got murdery on their mind. <laughs> April is tax time in the US. Oh. Well, it's the end of the financial year for us as well, but uh, our taxes are taken away from us before we even see them. And then they come back and tax you again. Well, you have remember. enough of that color, that's for sure. That's pretty good. That's, that's very nearly a full pot, that one. <clears throat> and that's a slightly bigger pot as the other one as well. I don't know how come because I thought I ordered the same thing. I went and did a uh, buy it again on Amazon after having bought this size, and I ended up with that one. Oh, fine. <laughs> okay. So that's red three. Okay. Kim says Canada two for tax time. So Kim must be in Canada. See how smart I am? I can do the math. Ooh. Pizza, she likes the wide mouth jars. Yes, I do too. I have yeah, I, I bought a set of 24 for the wide mouth. I'd rather have the wide mouth jars than deeper. Yes, exactly. It's so much easier to fill them and get it out again. That's the point.
all that luscious paint. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's drying up on my on my glass, so it's not very easy to get it onto paper without yeah. using something like this tissue to mop it up with. Let it dry and call it a paint peel. No, because I want to use the plate again. See? <laughs> oh, paint peel. Well, you could. It would be a paint peel, wouldn't it? I'll be right back. Hold the, Hold on. I'm going to do a yellow now because I reckon if I've got three reds now so that's something so I'm going to do a yellow so what shall I start with for the yellow I think I'll start with Indian yellow because it's a good strong yellow I'll we'll see what happens um, well, will I start with Indian yellow? I don't know. Shall I? Shanta? What else have I got in yellows? We were, talking, we were talking paint peels. And I've got and such paint. Huh? Hmm? Put me on camera. <laughs> yep. Please. Since, you. you're, since you're muddling about there. There you go. You are now on camera. Okay. You want to make me big? You are big. Okay, I am now. There's a lag. This is uh -huh. a, a paint pour that I did oh, probably about five years ago. Um, this was actually, this one was actually a string pull. And one of the reasons I didn't like it. it was one of the very first ones I did, so I it was a learning process. It's cracked. The oh. you can see all the white cracked because I it was just dried too quickly. But Russ loves it, and so we keep it hanging on the wall in the hallway. He wouldn't let me pitch it, and I've done multiple ones since then. This is just the very first one I did string pull. So, but, and then here's another one I've done. This was a paint uh, pour, and I used a hair pick comb to do the designs through it. Oh, yeah. So, this is I one of my favorite seen. ones. Yeah, fascinating. So, then we were talking about paint peels i i had a great big giant uh aluminum roasting pan and i put um i made a rack over it and i did the paint pour over that so all the paint poured the excess paint poured down into the roasting pan and i left it set in there and then i had paint peels you know like you uh -huh. guys get off the brayer so what can i can i just is, just for a second to show how much paint i got down here okay well you could go just double for a you can go there double, you go. double screen. screen. It's just I've got a, a goodish amount of cadmium yellow and a little bit of the Indian yellow and the retarder, and I'm going to mix those, and then I'll add um, soft matte gel. Okay, over to you. No, I want to make sure the you got the words in so we can check it later. So anyway, yep. we I had a lot of acrylic paint peels that I pulled up. And what I did is collected them, cut them up, and turned them into necklaces. Oh, lovely. I like that. That's a lovely idea. Brilliant. So it, what it is is these were... Um, bezel is that the word i want yes bezels. bezel necklaces and i put some uh i think i did e600 6000 but i could be wrong but i put some glue down and i put the paint peels down and then there's a white or this is a clear uh stone that went over it uh-huh 
I'm now using a, about the same amount of white as I did with the yellow. And then I just Come put on. them on a, a cord. So, anyway, we were following P along, talking about paint peels and all of that. And I, I was thinking about that one that she's saved for so long. It's like, anyway, okay, back to you. You sure? Uh -huh. I'm quite happy. <laughs> Yep. I'm just mixing in the yellows and I put this, the about that much white. Thank it was yeah. zinc mixing white. So that's that. And I'm going to add some of this. I haven't added any of this yet. Oh, I think I've got another. Interesting one idea, Anne. That's a yeah. Let's see what you can do with that, Sharon. What's that? Um, paint peels in mica. Sharon was playing with mica and got me, she's an enabler, got me searching for mica chips now, um, pieces, not flakes or whatever, but pieces. So I mm -hmm. did a little research and slippers, you know, sort of sheets. Yeah, they're little sheets. Yeah. To see what I could do with them. Like I need another object in the house much white will make it opaque hmm that's all right this is um not white this is um matte gel so right. that's counteracting the white somewhat i'm trying to get a nice pale yellow but with a difference because i added some, that indian yellow which really does go a long way doesn't it because it is so strong yeah you should kim you absolutely um i had great fun with my with the pores but i really hated all that excess paint and even it though seems I such a waste, it, it? what it seems such a waste doesn't it, it? yeah it did to me um it did, you know, I wanted to do more with it and I couldn't think of enough things to do with the acrylic, with the dried paint, you know, made a few necklaces. Okay, well, I'm done with that because I don't wear necklaces. I seldom wear jewelry. You know what I did? I forgot to use the impasto. Oh. I'm an idiot. I'll do another one. I'll do another one in a minute. This time I'll get the impasto out ready so that I know it's there. Let me see if I can find that other. It's okay, Mo. Thank you. Thank you for being here. How's uh, that go? Okay. I've now dipped that in the paint. Silly fool. Right. That, Sharon, it, it was just one of those things. I've just got to try it. And I did a lot. I have... I don't know, half a dozen or so, eight by 10 canvases hanging around the house of paint pours I did. And then I went, what else can I pour on? And I had a, a rubber brain that I purchased around Halloween time. And I did a paint pour over that. And you can do paint pours over vases and, and jars and inside jars, outside jars. There's so many things you could do a paint pour over. But it was like, I, I got my fill of it. I think I'd call that buttercup. This. That'll do. I think it's buttercup. I'm going to do a new swatch because it's not red on a different sheet. Well, we appreciate it, Sharon. It does. If I find it. Well, I have a picture of it. I'll, I'll post it in Makers, but... It, it was fun to play with. I had my neighbor friend yep. come over. She was a young girl, and uh, I showed her how to do it. And we both went to the dollar store, and she's like, she wanted to buy everything and do paint pours over all of it. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, she wanted to pour paint over. I'm like, you're really too crafty for me. <laughs> her parents would never let her have 
a craft room in the house that would be messy like mine. So she would always come over and just, and I loved playing. Put plastic shower curtains down on the floor to protect the carpet and just paint, pour away. That's a nice yellow. That turned out really well. Are you going to do a swatch so I can see it before you? Maybe it's daffodil yellow. Would you say that was daffodil yellow? It's quite like some of our daffs outside. It got me to think of, an, of a honeysuckle bush. Hmm. It's either daffodils or buttercup, I think. Yeah. Sorry, what did you say? Do a swatch. You ask me Oh, I did a swatch. It's there. Oh, I see it. Never mind. Never mind. Yep. Yep. There's a. I, I'm. I go back and forth between your screen and our streamyard and YouTube, and there's a lag. Sharon. Mm -hmm. says, Sharon says buttercup and peace says buttercup. parents want to let their children make messes. I agree. Right, I need another thing to wipe up with. So I've got to do one with the impasto gel this time. So I think I'll go for an orange. I think go, go go big screen again. I want to see uh mm -hmm. want to see your table better. Oh, Kim, that's perfect. She says mm -hmm. I lined all my walls with brown paper roll when my kids were little. They could create and mess to their heart's content. Lovely. That's and a mom and a million. To help clean up. <laughs> Whereas I ended up with them. Um, Books and bookcases daubed with um, various colours and children daubed with various colours looking as if they tattooed themselves. There was a, I've got a, a picture of um, one of my kids in the bath looking very sort of <laughs> as I'm about to clean them up. <laughs> that was weird. The thing is, it didn't just sort of daub stuff on, on the books. They actually tore them up. It's like, what are you doing? They're books. You don't know that. They're books. Dear me. Dear, dear me. <laughs> What's this? Well, your dad, was, your dad was a book binder, wasn't he? Yep. He was a uh, librarian, the borough librarian for the county. And he did book binding in his spare time. And he was so good at it that um, people used to bring him books to bind, you know, and to rescue and restore. So he was a book restorer as well. Um, I would have loved to have met him. Pale yellow do <clears throat> Buttercup. Let's call it buttercup. Buttercup? Buttercup. Why not? I think buttercups are a little bit stronger than that, but never mind. It's a name. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do an orange. So or what shall I do with it about the red? I'll do a different red. <clears throat> Naphthal red. I was medium. Pisa, she's still working on the clan up. I want to know how you do that. <laughs> the what? <laughs> she might clean up with Izzy. Oh. <laughs> Came out clan up. When you guys, when you you all type there and you make the the word errors, that's how I talk really badly. <laughs> so somehow I seem to understand what you're trying to say there. So that's Napsal Red. Cream pup, cream pup. Oh, now you know where that leads me. That's Cadmium. <laughs> that's funny. I think I might use the cadmium, that cadmium, yellow deep, or the cadmium yellow pale. If I mix these two together, I'll probably end up with that. What else have I got? 
Will you use the impasto? <clears throat> Yeah, I'll use the impasto this time. That's why I put it there, so I couldn't miss okay. it. That's what I thought. And I didn't I didn't I read cream puff, but my head said cream puff, which makes me think I want a cream puff or a chocolate eclair or oh no. Dreaming of cheesecake and I want some blueberries. I've got to put at least as much as that in, otherwise I'm not gonna get much difference from the red. Wow. All right, and there's my other one. I'm going to get some of this, Let's see what happens. So it comes out really nice and white to begin with. Let's see what happens. Are you going to use a splat, a, a drop, a, a plop? Of what? The impasto. No, I'm using the four rather largest dollops. Dollops. Oh, and don't forget the retarder, he says. Yeah, I must have the retarder. Yep, that was my next move. Retarder. Otherwise, you won't have the time to mix it, will you? Yep. Well, as humid as it is there. You hmm. just don't want to run any risks. There we are. Now then, have I got another, before I begin, let me just run it together a bit and then I'll look and see if I can find a nice, sorry? Uh, Kim says she is typing left-handed, weaving ends in a crocheted afghan she just finished. Ooh. And I've been uh, a crocheter for about, well, almost 40 years, Kim, so, and I always hate weaving in ends. And Sharon says, okay, well, I need to get my together. I'm not even sure which thing I'm going to film today, but I have a few options, or maybe I'll just do it tomorrow, but I need to get ready. Yes, we understand. That's nice. That I is. like that. That's quite bright. Right, I'm going to dive down here. I think it's down here. Bye, Sharon. I'll be watching for you. What have I done with the rest? I don't know what I've done with the rest of my pots, my big wide pots. I might be in a bit of trouble there. <laughs> oh my goodness! I just I just realized you're um there they are. You're mixing paints and you're uh, yes. Da, 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 da. I'm what? Your title on your YouTube says making collage fodder plus circles. You haven't even done that yet. No, but I will. I know. I showed the circles. So I've done that bit. <laughs> there wasn't much more I could do with the big mess I made of that. <laughs> well, I don't usually get on camera with you. So that's a distraction. Mm -hmm. I like that. Boy, you made oh, no, that was fun. That was interesting. Besides, you were showing off my nice turtles. Boy, and yeah, my I nice turtles. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yep, I love those. And, right, I'm going to scrape that off because this feels funny with this other one. I can't tell what the consistency is like because it's not the tool I normally use to mix. Well, isn't that the way it goes, Pete? We start out with, with this is what we're going to do, and then we end up doing something else. It's, it, mm -hmm. You can't But stop. it is collage fodder, in a way, because it's going to be going on to uh, paint uh, gel plate pulls, and that will become paint um, collage fodder, won't it? Collage fodder, so yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, in the end. got an odd consistency this stuff i don't know if that's the impasto gel or the fact that i didn't put enough retarder in i put a fair bit of retarder in it's quite a nice consistency once i get into it pieces how does that feel it feels a bit thicker 
than um, using the soft matte gel, but it would because the soft matte gel is, guess what, soft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's what I was going to say. It almost looks like jelly, like a colored petroleum jelly. Yeah. Maybe. It has something and else. this is... This is the gloss impasto gel, so we'll see what how it goes. It might be just that um, the time when Mo was buying the Dalarani that they had a bad batch, and even her replacement was uh, out of the same batch. Possibly, I don't know. Test it. Yeah, definitely has tested. So this will be red four. And I was going to say the the videos that we have coming up, they may already be public. Um, yeah, we well, had, the one that was at seven o'clock should be. Yeah, we had um, questions. That's nice, very orangey. I like that. Yeah. We did um, laser print pulls, and they didn't turn out so well. Fran was very, oh, nice color. That was mine, not yours. Yours turned out br brilliantly because you know right. what you were doing then. But on, on the video that's just being public right now, um, you had questions, it, and I don't know if you got them answered, but I think you wanted to ask Mariah. Or, yeah, or Brad yeah or I asked Mariah about it, and she confirmed that it's the fact that uh, – the one that was inks was turned into black and white, 100% black and white, by the printer before he did it. So that one worked. The other ones were looked already black and white, so I didn't bother to tell him to do that with those, and I should have. Oh, so you got your answer. Yeah, so that's the answer. So if I want those to work, I'll have to go back to him. And get him to do it again, but this time and make them all 100% black and white before we start. Yeah. Right. There we go. I'm now putting this one in. Very gel like, very stubborn. Its viscosity is not very high. It's, it's higher than it was, I dare say, but it's not as high as the soft matte gel would be. That was very viscous moves around a lot this moves around but more reluctantly still interesting I wonder if i'm going to get it all in here <laughs> i might have one and a half or, or one big one and one small one of this yeah i agree I, that's what i was just thinking per patricia said it will be interesting to see how it works on the plate yeah exactly that's oh, what I'm going to go on to. Yeah. Well, it'll be the plate next because this is the last of these. Yep. Yeah. This is going to only just fit in. <laughs> oh, you, I certainly you tap the jar down. down. Will it settle a little bit and give you more room? It might do. Not splatter yourself. Don't wear it. Hi, Julie. Welcome, welcome. We're just getting on to the exciting bit. We've done the thrilling bit. Now we're doing the exciting bit. <laughs> Sorry. Not out myself. There we are. There's red four. I haven't labelled any of them. Have I got any labels within reach? No, not really. I can see a packet of labels over there. I'll just um, clean this up first because I don't want it to solidify on the plate and make it harder. says I have an hour before I leave for work and I haven't even started getting ready yet. 
What's to get ready? You put clothes on, you put shoes on, you go out the door. Yeah, pretty simple. <laughs> there we go. That's nice. Nice and clean. There we go. Right, let's remove this and bring in a gel plate. Mm, gel plate time. Yay. Yes, do the proper stuff. Yep. And let's have a biggie. No, let's have a smallie. Look at the space I've got. <laughs> let's have a smallie. Oh, Julie, be prepared to laugh a lot if, when you watch yesterday's PM Artist Studio video. Could have been a Here three thoughts video. And I've got some A4 sheets. And I've got my turtles. That's have some red turtles. That's a bit Etc. Etc. Okay, you're pre in a bag soon. It's going to explode. Hi, okay. Ian. Hiya. Right, I've got some sheets. There's my gel plate. Take the covers off. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Telling me my beetroot's about to explode. Why is it about to explode? Beetroot. Oh. Hi, Brad. Brad says hello to everyone. Oh, hi. Right, I'm going to put it on this so that I can turn it over if I need to. So that's printing. And I do like this one. This um, Naples Yellow Green. I like it because it's got that little green tint in it. And it you don't really notice it, but it, it gives you another kind of pale. We're going to talk avocado here. <laughs> That's well, it's not like, it's, a it's more like cucumber to me. Oh, cucumber! There you go. Well, I'll go with that. <laughs> That's oh. more like cucumber. So I'll get rid of these, which I've used, and we'll use the ones we just made and this one. Only I'm going to use that side because I like that side. Yep. <laughs> After the brush. So we've got uh, the the Julie two other reds. I can't remember Julie which one is. Know, what's your opinion of using craft paints on the gel plate? Julie, up until um, recently, craft paints were the only thing I used on the gel plate. And I thought I was doing fine, but I didn't have anything to compare with. Now... I've been gifted some Amsterdam paints, and I never want to go back to craft paints. And some of the Amsterdam paints are quite good value. They're right. not all highly expensive, like uh, most of the um, most of the golden ones are. So um, yeah, and so could bad. you put a piece of white paper under your um, plate so that we can see the color better? Certainly, certainly. And um, no, I, I never had any trouble getting them to pull well. Um, but again, I didn't have anything to compare it to. I thought, you know, it was all fine until, like I said, I got the, the smoother Amsterdam paints. I don't know. If I did anything, I don't think I did anything different, but it, it's, they just move better on the plate. 
where's the other yellow I just made? I just made a yellow and I can't find it. You said it. You just picked it up and there it is. To the left. <laughs> yep. To the right. Right. Let's have some yellow. I'm going to do them with a, a yellow background. So we'll do a jollop. I have a, a package of um, a set of 24 Amsterdam colors. They're small tubes. So, and, and these were gifted to me. So, um, now I can try all the colors and I can tell you right now that there's a few of them that I will buy bigger tubes. Up. These are more like small sample tool tubes. And I will buy, order more bigger tools of uh, tubes of specific colors that I like instead of a, another set like this. Just be more selective. Yeah, if I were you, I mean, golden and Liquitex are, are more expensive. So if you if you wanna get away from the craft paints, go with the Amsterdam. Yeah, I would recommend that. Yeah, and in fact, if you look at P's um, color mix um, document, her colors oh, there's Amsterdam paints in there, like like um, Fran is using right now to mix her own colors. She uses Amsterdam, and they really blend well. Well, I used Amsterdam, but I also used a Kryler acrylic, which is a Dallaroni, and I used uh, Winter and Newton, and I've used Pabeo as well. Right, I'm just going to read it up a little. Being specific to Amsterdam, they do do a, they do mix well when you use these formulas. I mean, if that's all you can get, I would use the Amsterdam. And I and it, and it's a good way. Get a small set. Um, this is a set of twenty-four. And get a small set and find the colors that you like, and then go from there. I I I would have never purchased this on my own. This was gifted to me, and I I'm so grateful for it because I'll I won't I won't be purchasing any more craft paints unless I want to do garbage stuff. <laughs> no offense. They, they work, but these are so much nicer to work with. I can't find my Baron. My Baron has gone for walk. Julie, the kit, the set I have is called General Selection. So I, again, it was a gift. It wasn't anything I, yeah, get the basics, get the General Selection one. And I think it comes in 12 or 16 tubes. This one is a set of 20. No, set of 24. There we go. There's some turtles. I'm going to get a bit of tissue. I've got a whole load of tissue just over the way. I love you, turtles. There's one tissue. Yeah, I would, I would definitely get... Um, the set of Amsterdam and then go get P's formula document where she shows the mix, get some, uh, impasto. If you can afford it, get some gel medium, like do what Fran's doing here today. If there's other colors you want, but just to start play with those. And I think you'll be very happy with them. I put that on the floor. Oops, good, good. Right, I'm going to do this with tissue. I think a possibly black tissue. I want to do some. Oh, I've got some of the green of the of the fins. Yeah, I want to do some. Let's do the dark red. That big one we got lots of. Just to see what happens. Exactly, Anne. I, I have a lot of craft paints that I did paint pours with. What you saw, what I showed earlier, was done with craft paints. Oh, you know what I didn't do? 
What? <clears throat> Talk about um, making mistakes. I did not dry the <laughs> turtles. There's, a, there's a, an error for you to avoid. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, Julie wants to know, well, maybe Patricia can answer this. Julie wants to know her Joe, Sonia, Goosh, Rich Gold is running out and they don't make it anymore. Is It's really bright and opaque. Is there another brand that has really rich, opaque gold? Well, there's Arteza. There's some, um, I think there's an Amsterdam one. I can't remember which one I've got. I've got a, a light gold there, but the Arteza is darker. That's a light gold with the Amsterdam. And I've got the Arteza darker one. Maybe Patricia will know a lot more about it than me. Right. Um, put me on camera just so um, Julie. Just a second. I'm going to put this down. Sure, go ahead. When you get Just to right. it, I didn't mean immediately, but I wanted to show Julie the set that I have. Family Baron. <laughs> you know, when I went out and about to the shops today, I looked for black tissue. Couldn't find any. There you go. You're on. This is the set of 24 that I have, Julie. And there's the box. No, they're, they're, um, here, let me, so you can see the size. So they're definitely enough for you to do a few pulls and go, oh, I love that. And then that's the color you'll want to get a bigger tube of. And you might not like this blue. So, you know, it, it's a little bit of everything. And I thought it was perfect to go and try and learn mixes. There's no Prussian blue. I want Prussian blue. The reds are not the reds that I'm looking for, so I'm going to have to mix something to get the one I want. But it's... Right. General selection. I don't know if you can see that. General selection, set 24. Yep, just about. So it's the basics. I've got a few golds here. I've got Aztec Gold and um, Pabeo Studio Acrylics, uh, Iridescent Precious Gold. And, of course, Golden do them, but, yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting the Golden one unless you're coming to the lottery. Right. Or unless you're sure of it. I mean, you could get um, a metallic set. You can get a smaller metallic set, I think. I haven't been able to, but I have seen other people get the Golden metallic set so you could get that and then decide which gold you liked or to get a big one of i mean then, i haven't got an Amsterdam gold apart from that light one i've only got the light can, one you can switch the camera when you get your hands free okay There we go. I'm going to pull this and see what happens. Well, I, I'm going to have a look at the edge. Quite a bit has come through. You can see there's something coming through there. In the meantime, this is the Aztec gold I have. You can see that it was pretty good value because I got a big tube, 250 mil. I wouldn't have done that if it hadn't been good value. I mean, it's huge compared with, say, the studio acrylics from Pabea. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. You're happy with the Arteza? Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I've got the Indian yellow in. And I'm, right. I'm, I'm quite happy with them. 
Yeah. I haven't found them any problem. I, I've only got those two. I, I, I might have one other somewhere. I haven't got very many of them, but they are pretty good. I'm not keen on the pouches. I mean, they're okay. I'm not wild about the pouches. Um, Julie, in answer to your question, it says general selection set 24 times 20 milliliters ml. So that's what the box says. It's about one ounce, isn't it? 20 mils? If you say so. I think so. Yeah, I'm, I am I want to get some more. Well, might maybe you want to get some more what? Arteza. I want to get some Arteza. Oh. I looked through my paints and I don't have any of that. And I know I've seen you use it multiple times. So I wanted to get some to uh, rebuild my paint supply. Might not get the edge, but I might get something. It's torn a little bit there. Here we go. Ah, another little tear. And these tubes are, are 20 ml. And so ah. they're not very big. They're nice. Um, oh, it's stuck. This is the problem with this black tissue. It's not tissue. great. Black tissue, yeah. So leave it on there great. and let it dry longer and come back. To yeah, it. I think I might have to. I might have to. I've got another plate. I've got two more plates. So okay, Julie. I'll get another plate. Thank you for stopping by. Julie has to go to work. She has to go finish. Uh -huh. Go to work. Okie dokie. Bye, Julie. Thanks for popping in. I'll get another one. This one down here to dry. Maybe I should have done it with the white, wet strength tissue, but I thought it would look good against the black. And it would. It does. <laughs> I'm get it off. It does, just like that. Oh, one. Using these lovely tins I got from Mo. Right. Lovely. Right. Absolutely brilliant. If only I could put tins in the right size for the big ones as well. Sorry? No, nope. talking to Julie. Sorry. Let's Tell her again. She might not hear over me. She said she has to hurry and get ready now so she won't be commenting as much. She'll be still be watching, though. We oh, have... shame. I like it when people comment. <laughs> you know there's somebody there, then. <laughs> hey, what am I? <laughs> well, yes, but you don't comment. You just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to do another one. Boss you. <laughs> I'm going to put on... I wanted to do one with one of these, didn't I? And one of these dragonfly things. Oh, bless her. Penka's here. Oh, hello, Penka. How great to see you. Yeah. So maybe I'll put that on first. Since we're talking about... Oh, no, I'll tell you what. I'll put the I'll teaser on to show what it looks like. Because it's pretty oh, good. Really. Yeah, and you know what? We were talking with Julie. We were talking about the craft paints. I do like my metallic craft paints. Um, I've used them to paint uh, little wooden cutouts and cardboard cutouts. And I love the way once I put down a, a gesso, white gesso, and then paint them, it, I love how they show up. So I, I'm. See, this is. A, sorry. That is a heck of a gold. Yeah, and I put way too much on as well. And that's the Arteza? Yeah, that's the Arteza, oh, this did. one. Didn't you look at that? Wow. Scrape some out, put it back in the tube. <laughs> I want to see you do that. <laughs> I am. I am. Oh, are you really getting it back in there? Wait, if you're off camera, I want to see. <laughs> you need a funnel. <laughs> uh, isn't it beautiful? I it's. I'm now. I have to get some Arteza. I I'm probably will get a small 
Oh. <laughs> it's drying on your gel plate. You need to move faster. It's not drying. It's as wet as anything. He's right. Just put oh, it in the jar. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh at you. Laugh, please. And then I'm laughing with you. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I'm just concentrating. I'm sorry. I'm concentrating. I know. I know. Yeah, it's a good gold. It really is a good gold. And um, it's quite thick and it, it spreads well. And you put too much on because I'm, I'm used to the golden colors, having used them for a fair bit. So I sort of look at these other colors and I go, oh, I need more than that. But you don't. Not with the Arteza. It's good coverage. So... Yes, it is. It's it, absolutely it's hard to talk and focus on what you're doing down there, which is why she likes me with you with her here, because I do all the talk, talking. We tend, to, we tend to talk over each other sometimes, too. It's going to happen. I love that stencil. Now, it, do I get to cut this out? Will I get to do that? Yeah, sure. I'll send you the, uh, the silhouette file if you like. Well, I could just take what I've got and do it myself. You don't mind? No, yeah, that's fine. I thought that's what you were going to do. No, I I had it for an LP. I didn't, I didn't send you. Did I send you the silhouette file for this with these positions, or do you want to cut out the one you've got the LP one on? Either way, you do what you like. Thank you. No, you didn't send me the silhouette. We decided to go with JPEG, and that way I could play with it. Thank you, Pete. We have fun. We 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 have fun. We it's. Guess what I'm gonna do? Or try and do. I'm gonna do a red background. Uh, I'm gonna do red um. With this. Lot of love. There we go. There's the gold. But I've got yellow down here, so I'm gonna do. Um, I've got the rest of the gold down here. Yeah. So. She'll pull that up with something else. Wow. Stop doing that. Stay. Good. I'm going to see if I can't get that on. I don't suppose I can get it on. Exactly. Now then, which way around did it go? I did it the other way around, so I won't get it registered. So I may as well do it with another peek. Okay. Because I, I put the stencil down the other way down. <laughs> right, I'm going to lift this. Because I've decided I want to put red with this. So I'll get a gold print of the background with this. Oh, that's not bad. Look at that. That's not bad at all. I've got sort of an imprint from... What didn't pick up with the tissue as well? Eee, like it. You see that? I can. It's not bad. I like the way the flippers look. Wow. That was an accident. Lovely. Oh, kind of shimmery there. Yeah. So I want to put red on here. Yeah. I would. Yeah. But it I want to put red. Registration. Penka says gives you a heart for it. You get a heart. She loves it too. Oh, that I way see around. It. I see. You said you put it down different. I saw. You lost me. I see what you mean now. Pieces. There you go. You think? Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to do that second time. I want to do red on here. I, I used that red there, didn't I? Yes, I did. Let me just swap these pots. I want that one. I'm going to do the red on here. Bang your arm on the did I? Oh, I'm sorry. I heard the. I heard the. Morning. The twang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh. 
The turtle are my grandson's favorite. A lot of people like turtles, don't they? Yeah. I like turtles. I have a, a friend sent me a uh, little turtle charm. It's got a piece of turquoise in it uh, for the back. And I wear it as a necklace when, I, when I'm out and about and I get anxious. The anxiety kicks in. I grab the necklace yep. and like a... Um, what do they call those things where you play with with your hands? A fiddle. Worry thing. beads? Fidget yeah. spinner? Fidget spinner. But I, I play with it like a worry bead or a fidget spinner. And it calms me down if we're out and about. And It's a turtle. It's so cute. Okay. Put that back on there. That's as close as I can get it. I don't know if that's oh, accurate that's or not. Right. But it's... There you go. Yeah. There you what go. I do... Yes, pull that with this. Really love like that. Stay there. Don't move. Stop it. I think I've just bought the registration by moving the plate. Oh, and you know what else I noticed with yes, the I I have um. PTSD, Kim, and anxiety, and yeah, it's the devil. Um, you know what else I noticed? We were talking about the craft paints and the Amsterdam and that. When I did a pull with the craft paints, it stayed wetter longer than when I used the Amsterdam. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. When I did the pull, the, pa the page... The sheet stayed wetter. It's like there was too much liquid and not enough pigment. P probably would know better than than I how it's done. Line that up. Good job. I think that's about lined up. Or well, not quite. No. It's about as close as I'm going to get it. It's not accurate, but it's close. Hugs back. See what I mean. um, and I'm sorry you understand. I don't want anyone to understand. I wouldn't wish it on anyone, but hugs back to you. It's hard, isn't it? You're There you go. There you go. I had to go back to StreamYard because there's a lag, and I want to see how you put that down. <laughs> So that's not an accurate registration because the plate slipped as I was doing it, but I tried to rescue it. Right. Get it back. So you might get a little shadow. Yeah, probably will. Probably will. Shall we have a look? Because we can have a look yes, now. I've got a plate please. underneath. Yes, Master. Yes, please. Oh, guess what? I haven't got a plate underneath. <laughs> oh, boy. And, you know, I was going to remind you when you were out in the shops to uh, or to order something, you need more plates. Yeah, I do. Trouble is, I ordered paint, so I'm going to have to wait a bit for a plate. Yeah, because the other night you used the book and it didn't work well. The book covered no. it and that didn't work well. And then you found, what was it, your uh, shuttle bug? Hmm? Your, your, oh, your, my, um, uh, big shop so, plus. Yeah. Plate. There you go. That's what's going to happen. That's what we're going to get. Let me see. Hopefully. Oh, it might be coming. Oh, yes. Yes, I think we're going to get it. I think we're going to get some of it anyway. Right. Okay. Right. For, for, uh, for over 20 years, it was the crochet that was my therapy. 
I will always love crochet. It was, oh man, is that so cool or what? It's not bad. It's off the register, obviously, but it's not bad. Even so. You did a good job on the back. Yeah, gives you an idea of what you might have got if you got it right. <laughs> but that's nice. I like that. The gold and the red is nice. It's lovely. Julie commented, Julie, got to go to work. But she says, ooh, love that. Yeah, it's nice. I quite like this one like well. Just the red coming through the stencils. Like the yellow was okay, but the red is nicer. You like it. As no little head. His head's not visible. Dear me. Kim says, <laughs> wonderful pull. I agree. Yeah, we're just I wonder if I could do I wonder if I could do a a P with that. The way P did it before. Where she put that down. Ah, the message now at AU is here. She says, Good morning. It's three a it's five thirty-three AM. Is the messy palette or all oh, five thirty three AM can be good? Good morning. And Mariah is back. Hello, hello. Again and again. I'm trying to do a P. Trying to do it realigning. Yeah. P has now become what what is that? A verb? Yeah. <laughs> P is now a verb. You're a verb, P. <laughs> Cross the treasure. She's no longer a personality, she's an action. <laughs> Good job. I think that one is going to have to be left to ripen so that those pieces that are left on the plate come up with it to give definition to the shell. So I'll leave that. I'll go and get the other one that we left earlier. Okay. See if that was dried enough to pull. The black tissue. Ooh. The black Excellent tissue, yeah. Description of P. <laughs> yep, she's an action, not a personality. <laughs> <laughs> We say that with all the love from our heart. Right, I'm going to try pulling it from the other side. Cross your fingers. Tearing a bit there. Because oh. it's the dry edge. The edge Is that fine. a metallic paint? Um, I can't remember what I did with it now. I think it's the yellow and the red. Oh, that's your mix? Yeah. That's your mix. Okay. The yellow was quite faint because we'd already picked some up on the back of the stencil. Well, the black tissue kind of drowns it out, doesn't it? It does a bit, yeah. But you could always let that dry and then go over it with some gold. Yeah. I actually quite like the definition in the turtle's shells. I like it. That's good. I like that. How did I do that? Maybe I, I should do the same thing again, but with the white tissue, see what happens. I have a, I have a, uh, a request. Get a, yeah. get a sheet of paper or turn your gel plate over and put the tissue paper down on the... The acrylic so that it'll lay flat so we can see it where it's not all curvy and wrinkly. Does that make sense? You need something more stable to hold it besides your hand. Yeah. I just so I know you can't put it back on the gel plate. No. But so I, I do like this definition we've got here. I can bring the camera down a bit as well. Isn't that nice? I like that. It's subtle, isn't it? It's quite subtle. And that torn bit will go back as long as it doesn't stick to itself and be awkward. Move it, move it yeah, over I like to that. the right a little bit. That way? To the right. Towards that your was gel. the right. Move it yep. towards your gel plate a little bit. I did. Okay. Yep. 
there's the lag. Oh, nice. Even better. That really is. I've got to get some of that black tissue paper. Well, I'm not wild about it, I must admit, because of the amount of tearing. But if you do something like this and you don't pull it immediately, you let it dry really well. So you leave it at least a couple of hours. Right. Then you get a good result. You really do. I mean, that um, blue, you remember that iridescent blue? That on this is marvelous. Oh, it's, yes. And and everyone will see that in the, in the video that we've got coming up. Um, Patricia said yeah. her battery died. What did I miss? Um, I don't know, because I don't know when your battery died. But um, Fran just did. She went ahead and pulled the black tissue paper. From earlier, yeah. Yeah. So, and, uh, and we're still on turtles. We're just doing yeah, turtles. Haven't, haven't pulled that <laughs> registration yet. Have, she she did a pee. Uh -huh. I did a pee. She did a pee. Yeah. And so you'll have to. <laughs> and this is what I got from the pee. Pick up those turtles. Fran designed those turtles. Yep, that's what you got. So that's that's pretty good. I mean, that's almost similar to what we got there, except we've got the red and we've got the gold. And on this, we've got the yellow and we've got the red. And the red, ee, mm, not great on the uh, on the black tissue. It's a pity, really, because it could yeah. look really something and nice if it was. Is a it good the one. same red on on each? Yeah, I use the same red. This one. I can't remember which one that was, but it's that one. I'll have to look through the video and find yep. out what I did. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have got the swatches, so I can look at the swatch and decide which it was. Now, Kim asks, has anyone pulled using tracing paper? Um, no, but I've got some tracing paper over there. Oh. Oh. Mm. Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Where's the tracing paper? How about a little show and tell then? Yeah, yeah, it is over there. I could have a go. So this is, I think this is red three. It's not red two. Uh, it's not red four. And it's not red two because red two is this little bit. Right. And that's the brownie one. And it's this one, which I think is red three. Put the swatch up higher so we can sweet see. All right. It's the one I put in the big pot. See? It's that one. You can see how it looks on the white tissue compared with how it looks on the black tissue. But that black tissue has got the yellow on as well. You can see the yellow around the edges because the yellow went on first. That was that yellow. The big one we mixed here. Patricia says, good job. I like the slightly off. Yeah, it worked well with this. Uh, but it didn't work quite so well with that. But it's interesting. Sort of giving a shadow effect almost. Yeah. Highlights and shadows. The sunlight through the water. It's interesting. I can say that, you know. I mean, <laughs> I meant to do that. Really, I did. And there's the gold one. I really like how the flippers and, and bits came up with that. I really do like that. That, that came up beautifully. Particularly this one, these, this flipper here I like. And these, it doesn't look, it looks like skin, doesn't it? I really like that. Anyway, there we go. Interesting. That's that. So I'll have a go with the tracing paper, and then oh. I think that'd better be it. I'll just have time to do the tracing paper, I think. And I'll put my plate back down there, and I will pick that up first. Actually, just let me pull that up. There you go. 
a little bit at that edge. Just want to get that little bit at that edge. Well, anyone that, yeah, that um, has come in late, if you watch the beginning, you'll see where Fran did some paint mixing. Tea style. With, yeah. uh, with a soft gel medium and impasto and retarder. Well, I'm going to use the same um, stencil with this tracing paper. So that we have a consistent um, report. <laughs> this is my tracing paper. I got it years ago and I haven't, I've got loads left. Look, look how much I got left. <laughs> Let me raise that up a bit. Oh, just a bit. Here. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a bit left. Yeah, just a little bit. Let's have a piece of tracing paper. Way up, so I've got more than one piece then. The imposter and pasto. Mm. Sorry, Diane asked, Is it the imposter and pasto? Yeah, that's the one, Dollar Rowney. The one that Mo didn't have a very good experience with, so we'll find out what happens with it. I mean, that's the first time I've opened that pot. No, that's not quite accurate. I opened it when I got it to look and see if it looked awful. <laughs> but uh, that's the first time since then that I've opened it to use it just now. I wonder whether, is Mo still there or is she gone? Um, well, I haven't seen her post in a, in a few, so I'm not sure. Um, I was just wondering if she kept her pot open while she worked or if she just... Um, used it and then closed it because I'm inclined to always close my lids if I can manage to do so. You know, so I haven't got my hands full with whatever else I'm doing. But I always close them as soon as I can. Yeah. And and I'm he said she loved the black also going back. The black tissue? I suspect. Oh, my husband's home. So... Oh. I will go on mute when he walks in the door because he walks in quite noisily. So I will go <laughs> mute for a few minutes. <laughs> it isn't quite all mixed in. There was a little bit there that um, it was still a bit gloppy, but that's all right. I mean, I'm not bothered. Red three. We're true red three again. Look at that. Still a bit gloppy. Never mind. Mariah, I have some black cardstock, so I'm going to give that a try. I've got some white tissue down there ready. Turtles. Right, I'll do a white tissue. See, with the white tissue, you can see what you're doing through it. That's an advantage. So you can see where you want to get the extra pressure on the little head. And his little tail. I want to miss a tail. Move this down too. Oh, that's a hell that's better. Huh? 
using the edge of the baron does help. bit more pressure in a focused direction. I hope the dentist puts that tooth back in tomorrow. I'm fed up with it already. Now, I can do that because this is on the plate that this is sitting on. So what am I going to do when I pull this off? I'm going to do the blue. Okay. I'm back with the mic. Because the fluorescent blue. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. So it's swimming. They'll be swimming in the sea, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, wait a minute. There's a little bit extra I can get up there. Oh, maybe not. Doesn't want to come up. Okay. Get that one up. Now we've got to dry this. Think about it this time. Dry it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Dry it. My big wavy dryer. This will be the last one today. Your special, special dryer. Mm hmm In fact, while I'm waiting, I'll go and get those Nat Geo pages and show you the, what was I got. Because it's easier when you can see it in video sometimes, isn't it? Mm hmm I'll get those for you. That one's my favourite. That's just not work. There we are. I've got a 1968 one. I think it's 68. And that one is definitely very different paper from the ones that I did these with. You see that? Yep. Now, it's I thought, oh, wow. I thought what I read on the Citrusol site was that the Nat Geo's from 2006 and on, not back, but forward, were the best ones to use. Lovely. Really? Yeah. Well, this is um, 2016, this one. That's really nice. I really like the eyes that are still visible in this. It was a guy looking down a microscope. A two you still see the face. Yeah, just about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all right, but it's nothing special, that one. That's pretty good. It's okay. That's nothing really special. This one's nice. I like this one. Really like that one. I don't know. I, I think this is a little clock. Why there's a different color there. So that's the screen of the clock. And that's beyond reasonable doubt. These are all from the CSI magazine 2016. And that one's rather good. I do like these big blotches and the way there's, I don't know if you can see, but it's sort of pulled that way when it was pulled up, sort of streaky. You see that? There's a lag, so I can see it, but I know there's a lag. Uh -huh. Oh, C.W. Brown says, hi, Frankie. Hiya. And this one is where one of these was put down on the paper uh -huh. to, as it was so soaking wet, you know, and it made a print on the paper. So I cut it out. Like, so now, I got one extra. Done, these were done with citrusol. That was citrus salt, yeah. I've ordered something called soda sand. I don't know whether that's going to work. If not, it's pretty cheap. It's about three quid or something for it. Three I pounds something. Oh, so if that's no good, it doesn't matter. I'll use it for cleaning. So how are we doing with the drying? Oh, that's helped it to dry quite well. Let's try that bit that looks dodgy. No, that's not coming up. Okay. I, I think that's like pretty the, good. I always like We're ready. the very center because that's where usually most of my paint goes. 
No, nope, nothing's coming up at all. So that was good. Here we go. So have some show and tell in the middle of uh, drying your paint, and you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's me trying to get the goober out, and it's only partly goober. It's mostly paint. I got it all over my fingers. <laughs> So I've now got a blue and red nail. Oh, God, that's got rid of that. It's just underneath. Oh, I hate Hi, that. Brad. Brad's here. Hi, Brad. He was here before. He come back again. He was. Hi, I'm... Brad. How did he do that? What? He was here before and I missed it. Yeah. I thought you said hi, Brad, before. No, Mariah that's said that Brad. Now. Mariah and Brad were out and about i believe and so she said that brad said hello oh right but he he yeah. himself is now here he would yeah he uh -huh. was, i was right he was with mariah so she just passed on the message yeah. that he said hello but he showed up himself uh -huh. now uh -huh. right and now he is watching you on his computer and mariah is on her computer <laughs> and Pete is upstairs. There are, there are, I'm telling you, there's, <laughs> there's a lot going on. Here. We're all in one room. <laughs> so let us put this down and see if we can get anything. I'm telling you, it's a family affair. <laughs> uh, I did that wrong. Uh oh. I've done that wrong. I'm now going to get blue all over the turtles because I didn't. Uh, you didn't put the thingy down. No, I didn't put the thingy down. So yeah. what I'll do is I'll do it again. We appreciate it. And get that. what was left on the plate with another sheet of tissue. That's me too busy thinking about other things, you see. I'm not concentrating. Yeah, stop listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, don't listen to me. You're not here to listen to me. They listen to me. You listen to your what's in your head. Listen to the voices in your head. Just remember, just because the voices. I've had some very head, bad advice to give to anybody. Listen to the voices in your head. I don't oh, know many I'm gonna take me away. Just because you hear it in your head doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> <laughs> so be selective. Uh -huh. I might get a tracery now. Well, I can I, still I see I didn't it sit long, so I didn't totally obliterate the red turtles. And I could okay. probably go over it again if I put the stencil on top of that, the other way up, and brayer some oh, red okay. over yeah. the top, and I will um, get that back. But Mariah and Julie say that they like the tissue paper, the blue t and I do too. Yeah, I like it. Not quite I what I had in mind, but it's nice. Happy accident. I didn't let it sit for long. That was what it was. Didn't let it sit for long. I might let that sit for a bit and go and check the other one while that sits. So let's take those off there and remove that. Hey, that's almost as good the other side, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But you don't get the shine. Put that on the floor. Go and get the other one. It is pretty. Yeah. No, and you don't Stop get the time, but it's still either side would would work. Yep. Yeah. Don't listen to me. You gotta stop listening to me unless I say your name. If I poke you, then listen. Hey, hey. Have fun. a look and see what you might get in a bit. That could be good. That's sort of the reverse of what I was looking for. So it's the other way around. <laughs> so it's red water with blue turtles. <laughs> oh, I like that. That was a glary treat. Quick peek. Glary? Well, yeah, the light was glaring down on the glass. So, but it was, oh. it, if you just wanted oh. to give a sneak peek, that's what you did. Yeah, sorry. Right. Well, we got something. 
I think I need to put some more paint down to pick up that last bit. But that's not bad. Isn't that what we had before? Yeah, that's what we had before. Hmm. And this is so, on the copy paper, right? Yeah, how about I put the yellow down now? I haven't used that but once. Because they are now good and dry, so they should pick up. Buttercup yellow. Yep, buttercup yellow. Give me a tinge of the blues there. Lovely, lovely. A sheet of tissue. I do like this white tissue. If only somebody made black tissue as good as this white. The wet, the wet tissue. Wet strength, yeah. Yeah, wet strength it does make such a difference. I just wondered how it was in comparison to the tracing paper. Did I do tracing paper? I did, didn't I? What did yeah. I do with it? You. Uh huh. Oh, it's on the sheet over there, isn't it? Or is it? No, that isn't. What did I do with the tracing paper? <laughs> Hello, tracing paper. Tracy Fran paper. has Where lost her mind. <laughs> oh, the tracing paper has gone. Um. I don't know what I did with the tracing paper. <laughs> Panka has to go cook dinner. Bye, Panka. Thank you. <laughs> I will try again with the tracing paper. That's picking it up. That's not bad. That's picking it up. Look at that. That's good. That's good. Lovely. That's nice. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's good. I like. Got little traces of gold in it. That's lovely. I'm impressed with that one. I've got the blue down here as well. That's lovely. I like that. Right, I'm going to do something, and then I'm going to use that other sheet of... I swear I used one with... <laughs> with the tracing paper already. Okay. I don't know. Duft as a brush here hasn't got a clue. <laughs> right, so I'll have to use the same one. What did I do with that as well? That under there. There it is. That's him. Would not do what, Julie? Your older gel plate would not do that no matter what I tried. Would not do what? Let's see how it picks up with that. Now I'm going to try the bright red. I haven't tried the bright red yet. Ooh, lush. Punchy one. Pull off the leftovers. Oh, the less sometimes the leftovers are, are some you get some really good pulls from those. Yeah, you do sometimes. It's looking pretty faint. I don't know that it's gonna do much that. Where's the there we go. 
one of this. I don't think oh. I used it, you know. I think I just cut it up and then didn't use it. I'm, I, I have a question for everyone that does gel plating. Do you use both sides of your gel plate or do you always just use the same side? I use any side. Right? That's how I am. There you go. Right. It's quite thick tracing paper. Okay. Bye, and this Julie. is old tracing paper. So bye, Julie. I bought it a long time ago, so you wouldn't be able to get it again. But you might get something similar. Because I bought this in a little old shop called Heath's in Paynton about 30 years ago. Well, Kim was the one that asked about using tracing paper. So, oh, there she is. So. When it prints, might have helped if I'd used a different paint. There we go. I'll put it down again on that and see what I get. Don't step behind me. It's inclined to peel up and um, sit in folds, I'm finding. Okay. might be better if I could soak it, or not soak it, but um, spray it with water and lay it flat under something to dry and then use it. Oh, we got something. Look at that. That's not bad. That's not at all bad. That's not terrible. That's not that's not too bad at all. I didn't think it was gonna stick at all. Interesting. There you go. So does now I've got some glass in, but I have no idea where it is. If I ever manage to find it, I think I'm gonna get a lot better print off glassine than off this tracing paper. But so that's are, not bad. With the I'll tracing paper, is are both sides of the tracing paper the same? Feels the same. Yeah. There's the other piece of tracing paper, so I didn't use it before. <laughs> yeah. um, Kim says very interesting, and Mariah says well done. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Did actually pull it with the tracing paper. I'm going to cut it up and then put both sheets over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Right, I'm going to have a go with this. Not very much this time. I oh, put too much on last time. Yeah, and that's what I that's why I asked him. It looked like it was coated with something. It made me think of parchment paper. Yeah, it does it does react like parchment paper. Well it feels like parchment paper to my hands anyway. And and uh, tracing paper in my mind is more like tissue paper. Quite thin. Kim says thank you for trying, Fran. You're very welcome. No, it's definitely that way up. You know what you're doing this time? No. <laughs> okay. Vaguely in the same area. Have I got any tracing, but any tissue left? I have a couple of sheets there. There's one at least. Let's soak up them. I could see the turtles as the green or whatever mm. color the uh, whatever color you have down there on the sheet and then the background being that light blue. Yeah, that's what I was aiming for when I did it wrong. <laughs> well, that's why I asked you, you know what you're doing this time? No, no idea. Oh, no. <laughs> no, of course not. 
Random creativity. Very random. Well, and that reminds me of the discussion we had on the video that has it that is to be seen yet, where I said it was I loved it, the poll you got, but I would have put the colors the other way around. Yeah. The other way around. It was a it was a P and M stencil or a, was it a stencil or an LP? I can't remember, but it was a P and M. We were doing a lot of LPs, so it might yeah, have been an LP. We were. Yeah, I think it was an LP. Because they worked and mine didn't. <laughs> right. I think it was the LP with the four different pieces, designs. And yes, I yes. I would reverse the color yeah. placement. Yeah, you told me while we were doing it. After I'd done that, you said, I should put the colors the other way around. <laughs> that, that, and your brain that was when we finished, wasn't it? That was <laughs> too late. <laughs> It was late and we were tired. Yeah, That's definitely. My story and I'm to it. Uh -huh. Right. So, what am I going to do when I take this off? That's what I've got to decide. I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to. Pull this off like that. And then I'm going to flip back down again, see what we get. All right. That was the iridescent blue? That was the iridescent blue, yeah. yeah. I love that. A bit of a crease there that I did not intend. I really liked it on the black tissue paper. Yeah, it showed up really well on the black tissue. Iridescence seem to show up well on the black tissue, but you've got to leave them uh, so that they don't tear the paper when you're trying to get it up. Right, I'm going to put this aside and pull the other one. Okay. And I'm going to try not to step on everything that's on the floor. Have you trapped yourself in there again? Nearly. <laughs> so let's pull this one that's been sitting there for a little bit. Oh, nudged the camera. Sorry. I'll put it up a bit. Yeah. Now then, I don't expect much from this one. This should have late waited another year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not bad. It's left a fair bit behind on the plate, but that is not bad. That's got some nice lovely nice. markings on the shell. Yeah. I have no idea what I did there. I've forgotten. <laughs> Well, we'll have to look at the video, won't we? I, I recognize the iridescent blue. Yes, and the, and the, and the red. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But what order did I do them in? And I must have put them down twice because I've got the imprints from the stencil as well. Interesting. So, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And completely unsolvable unless you watch the video. So what are we going to do with that? What a lot of mess. Um, I think I might just pull it all off with the tape, you know, start again fresh. Really? You don't think there's enough grunge there to... And I might leave for another time. Yeah, well, leave it, leave it for another time. We're well, there's a fair bit there, but it didn't come up with that. Oh, maybe, if I pick it up, maybe if I pick it up with that color copy pick it up with color copy well, there you go so 
I'm going to do that. I'll I'll test the the dark one, which I haven't tested yet. That's okay, and it's recorded. You can come back, or just ask, and we'll tell you. It was fun, and she made some good prints. There you go. Now you're caught up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, I could have come on and said that myself. A, I made a good prints. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> 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 right, so that's the darkest of the paints that I made with the brown, uh, transparent brown brown oxide, yeah. And I put a fair bit of uh, the soft matte gel in with it, so it's it's got a, quite a lot of transparency because it has a transparent paint and. I used a fair bit of the gel. So let's pop that down and see what, if we can get anything off it. Yep. Are you about done then? Well, we've got that other one to pull, but I might have to do that later and show you later. Okay. Yeah. We can have a look at the other side of this and see what we might get later. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Now that's murdery <laughs> and mappy all in one. <laughs> murdery and mappy. Murdery. And wet turtles. Oh wow. Which you do is turtles. <laughs> the light the chandelier that light is glaring cool. on it. Sorry. Is there that better? Go. That's all right. That's yep. Tilt it. Good. Tilt it. Oh? Nope, the other way. Tilt it the other way. There you go. Oh, there you go. Got it. Nice. There's, okay. a, there's an odd face with pokey ears in there. <laughs> mm, very lovely. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave that. And I think, actually, I'm going to leave that other one as well because that's on tissue and it was quite, yeah, reluctant to come up before. So I think if that's the one, I think it is. My memory is hell. It's awful. I'm definitely coming down with the memory problems. What? I forgot what you said. What did you say? <laughs> Very good. Oh. Oh. Well, anyway, everyone there we go. We had fun. We had fun. Fun. So, so, if you want to see the result, I'm pretty sure that Fran will post a picker and picker picture in a picker. Uh, interest group, which is, um, yes. in fact, I'll post the link. Hold the phone, and I will post the link to make it's makers. Group. It's makers, makers, mixed media art and artists. Yeah. That's what it is. And I'm going to post the link because if you're not over there and you want to be over there to see this, answer the questions nicely and maybe Mariah will let you in. And there's the link yeah. for Makers Group, which is affiliated with PM Artist Studio, who we love. Yeah, we definitely do. And yep. these are the so swatches I made. So I've got to make some more yellows, haven't I, in order to make another swatch there. Did I not say that? Did I not say that last night? Uh, didn't I? Well, I made list? that one today. I so I've just got to make some more. I read yeah. you my list last night. Yep. Well, that list was an old list, that was. That, that. We've answered some of those um, queries and, and done some of those oh, things yeah, already. But I'm still going to do them. There. Yeah, yellows. So I've done one yellow and three reds. So I didn't have many reds. I only had the one. I had red one, which is that one. Okay. Which was a me, little, little you pinky. Something. You've got three reds in the pots there, and you've got three reds on the swatches. Do you have them lined up like they're plate, like they are? Not yet. But I can. Yeah. yeah, put the swatches up there and then line the reds up to match the bottom of the jar so I can see which That's one goes one. to which. Let's see. There you go. The like There's the yellow. There's that red with the brownie. There's that red with the bluey. And there's that red with the yellowy. <laughs> Basically, more or less. 
no no charge for the new voice um <laughs> yeah so that's there's a dis that's distinct difference between that third red yep in the pot but not so distinct on the swatch not, not to my eye yeah it depends on it's easier to see the difference i think on those three looking at them in the denser area so you can what see that's definitely red redder dense? that's darker and that's browner but um these two are quite close but you can see there's a faint i can see that there's a faint bluishness to that okay very very faint but i did add the violet oxide so there ought to be really Brad says, I'm one with Brad. I was about to say your other two yellows are a tad bit light. Hmm. Are the two yellows? Well, she only made the one yellow today. Well, you're talking about the one from before. Uh, the other one was a, a pale lemon yellow, and it was meant to be. It had iridescent in it as well. What did I do with that? Hello. What are you? I think hello. It's over there. Come on, nothing below. It's over there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there we are. So that's definitely Baylor, isn't it? I mean, yeah. hmm. well, that's got iridescent in it, so it's got shimmer to it as well. That one. And that one's sort of pinky. That's using um, <laughs> naphthol red <laughs> and red iron oxide, that one. Well, I'm going to have to make little labels for these four right. right well i think we're done okay i think that's it for today and like i said so there's, we... two, there's two other videos that we recorded late at night a couple videos of uh silliness true silliness oh yeah with a lot of editing <laughs> yeah yeah she cut oh. out a lot of the awkwardness <laughs> Yep. Oh, a lot of the waiting, because yeah, there was a lot of waiting, because I would do things that required. I'm just going to dry this 10 minutes later. I think it's nearly dry. <laughs> <laughs> so she got all the bits out. <laughs> Much of the best way. There you go, anyway. So we will say goodbye to you for now. Bye-bye. And then we'll press the end broadcast. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs>